afternoon, meteorologist Hunter Ward coming to you. It is April 29th on a Friday, and uh, we've got a decent afternoon of weather that's on tap. Little shower activity that could be moving in, and uh, then we're looking at pop-up showers here for the next uh, two to three days. Sunday looks to be like the most active day, so uh, let's go ahead and turn around to my uh, screen I want to thank Red Wolf Contracting Services, CP Cruise and Company. Uh, they just finished up their uh, sponsorship at Farm Bureau Insurance of Leicester. And uh, 66 degrees around town right now. Beautiful on the Grimes Tice Anderson camera right around downtown. But as you get in the outskirts, kind of where I'm at, it's pretty cloudy. And uh, you can see right around downtown, we've got some clear blue skies, though. That will uh, persist through the weekend, but we'll have those pop-up showers that I'll show you as you look at the BannerOut.com live camera. And uh, we'll have those showers that begin to develop uh, Saturday afternoon. Very isolated Saturday afternoon, but looks a little bit more widespread on Sunday afternoon. So uh, check out the Olivet Riverside camera, Farm Community. <coughs> have all kinds of stuff going on out there. Better Homes and Garden, real estate out in Bryson City, um, our Country Fields, uh, Swananoa, Country Fields Greenhouse and Gardens Landscaping. Looking there at uh, I-40 right there. Kind of as the leaves are starting to fill in, we're losing our view just a little bit, but uh, you can still see the interstate moving in and around the back in there. Lynn Freeman Bush Realtor Camera in uh, downtown Hendersonville as well. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's talk about uh, models and kind of what they're showing. Nothing too significant. I think that you know around four or five this afternoon we could see some pop-up showers. Um, I'm checking the radar though. Let's uh, let's see if any of those have really developed. Nothing really significant on the radar as of now but we could see some some shower development as this afternoon progresses but uh kind of my main focus is really on uh on sunday saturday looks to be the chance it looks to be pretty cloudy on saturday but uh and maybe an intermittent chance in the morning for some showers but we will have some clearing that occurs i think sunday is really the day when those pop-up showers could occur though um we'll have that gulf flow that moves in and uh, then we'll see those storms just pop off in the afternoon you can see some storm development occurring on this model it's really difficult to nail down exactly where those storms pop up at but I do think that we will see isolated to uh, to scattered severe storms around western North Carolina as the afternoon progresses on Sunday so that's kind of the main features that we're focused on um, this weekend. And uh, you can see that kind of front moves through Sunday and uh, then more pop-up showers kind of behind it. And then we kind of get into a rinse, wash, repeat theme. We've got a chance for pop-up showers several days next week. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really just kind of got to move into a, uh, a late spring to summer type pattern around western North Carolina where we're not getting as much of a frontal passage, but we get the gulf that opens up with that warm, moist air and, uh, you know, surface heat creates an updraft and we get scattered showers that develop. So that's what I'm looking at next week. The chance for scattered showers really coming back. Um, and, you know, several shots of rainfall, isolated rainfall around western North Carolina. Really difficult to nail down exactly where we're going to see those, uh, those storms develop, but it does appear like we will see storms develop. So stick with me. I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know if I see anything too crazy uh, coming in for Sunday. But uh, just know that pop-up showers will begin to move into your forecast here as we progress into uh, the late part of the weekend and early next week. Thank you guys for joining me. Check back soon for more information. Have a great day.